Alright, so today I'm waiting for three-star Georgia Southern commit Isaac Walker. He'll be joining me for an interview today on Instagram Live. Hey Jesse, what's up? Thanks for watching, Jesse. I appreciate it. Hey, John Nick Fight Podcast. What's up? Yo, can you hear me? Yeah, what's up? What's up, bro? What's up? How are you doing? Good, man. How are you? I'm good. Also, so have you visited Statesboro yet? Say it again. Have you visited Statesboro yet? Yeah, man. I actually visited once. I got to visit one time because it's stupid pandemic, man. It was straight, though. It was yeah, straight. It's over soon. Yeah, it's pretty nice. I visited it this past summer. Yeah, you liked it? Mm-hmm. That's what's up, man. You got some questions for me, though, man? Yes, I do. I'll start with right. the first question. How right. old were you when you started playing football? Uh, what was I, like, six? I think, yeah. I started playing football when I was six. I was a, a, a center. That's a crazy part. I used to play on the line, man. So you used to be a center when you first started? Yes. I hated football. I wanted to quit as soon as I started. <laughs> it's the crazy part. But my pops won't let me quit, though. Good thing your parents didn't let you quit. Yeah, I know. Because now you're going to play D1 football. I know. I know. Did you play any other sports? Yeah. My first sport was uh basketball. I hope. You know what I'm saying? Actually, I'm about to hoop now, but, uh, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I'm I low-key nice, you know what I'm saying? I'm low-key nice. Like, everybody don't know, though. Like, I be, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I dunk on you for real, bro. Like, I ain't going to lie to you. Like, so, your yeah. first sport was basketball? Yeah. Yep. What's it been like playing for the William Amos Huff football program? Oh, yeah. That junk fun, man. Everybody on my team, he won. So, like, everybody on our defense, we got a – I think everybody on defense has an offer from any – like, everybody's going D1. Like, that's the crazy part. So, if you're looking for a high school, bro, definitely, if you stay in Carolina, Huff is a school to go to for real, for real. Wow, that's crazy. So, everyone's going to play D1 on defense. Yeah. High yeah. That must be cool game, like, the experience already to, like, going D1. Like, you get to play with other guys who will also be in it. Yeah, it is. Looking back, what was your first season doing varsity football like? Uh, I was scared, man, because my first my first year playing football, I was a freshman, so I was scared. I was straight out of middle school. I was the man in middle school, but you know what I'm saying. Everybody kind of low key the man in high school. Well, not now that I look bad, it not really, but. My freshman year, I was I was scared, man. I was scared. So you were scared at first doing it as a freshman. Yeah, yeah. I was I was terrified. You had to play against a lot of guys that were older than you, like seventeen, huh? When you're like yeah, 14. yeah. And I was fourteen, just now turning fifteen, I think. That's a so, crazy yeah. age difference. Yeah, it is. It is. People don't understand, like. Freshmen that play varsity, man, they got to be something because it's not easy. You have to have something special like because it's not easy, like you said right there. Yeah, yeah. I know last season you went 8-5, and five, had a tough loss in the second round to Richmond. Yeah. What was your biggest learning experience from last season? Uh, man, probably, you know what I'm saying, uh, I would say play every game like it's your last for real, for real. like actually because last year was my last game. Like it literally was the last game I played in high school football because I'm not playing this year because I'm about to go to college. I'm leaving early. So, um, yeah, I would just say play every game like it's your last because it actually was my last. So, 
like no matter what you gotta treat it like your last game because like you, you said it's that ended up being your last game. Yeah. Wow, yeah. that's crazy. So are you graduating early then? Yeah. I actually leave for college next week. Wow, that's coming up soon. Yeah. Yeah. What do you feel your biggest strengths on the field are? Um I would say for my position, probably speed. I'm a lot quicker than the guys that I'm going against because I used to play in middle school. I used to play like receiver and like in the secondary so I could move quick from my position. So really just speed, I guess. You know what I'm saying? And th- You're and, fast. You're yeah, and I'm not, and I'm not one of the biggest guys on the field. I'm I'm 230-something, two thir- like 6'2". You know what I'm saying? The guys I'm going against are usually like 6'5". 300 like wow huge. so i gotta you know what i'm saying i gotta be uh i gotta be different so yeah you have to be different since they're huge yeah so you started i know you started at page high school what was that program like uh it was fun man i think the only thing about page they just don't uh they don't promote their guys as well as huff like Huff promotes their guy. That's why everybody's going D1 at Huff because, you know what I'm saying, it's such good promoting. But and it's really in Greensboro in general. They don't promote their guys enough, man. So hopefully, you know what I'm saying, I can put Greensboro on the map because that's where I'm from originally. So hopefully, you know what I'm saying, I can put them on the map and everybody pay attention to Greensboro a little bit more. So they don't, like, put their guys on the map, like, as much publicity as Huff? Yeah, yeah. Hopefully you'll be able to put Greens Real on the map, like you said, when you're at Georgia Southern. Right, right. What made you pick Georgia Southern? Um, man, you know what I'm saying? The coaching staff, man, I got a lot of trust in the coaching staff, man. Like, I came in the process of, like, a blind process because I didn't really get to go on no visits because of COVID. Um, But they offered me and they loved my film, and I just fell in love with the coaching staff, like, I got a big relationship with Coach Lunsford, Coach Rao, all of them, man. So it should be fun. So you built a great relationship with the coaching staff, and you already have it, like, going in to yeah. when you get to Georgia Southern. Right. They made you, like, feel wanted and everything. Like, you knew they wanted you there badly. Yeah, exactly. How do you think your play style fits in at Georgia Southern? Well... Hmm. I, don't know. I want to say it in the right way. I think I bring, like like I said, I bring a different speed to the position that I'm playing there. So, like, really, I think, I think I'm think i just turning the defense up, honestly, man. Just bring, the, just bring more speed. Like, there's a person that's in my position there. He, he's good. Like, he's going, I think he's going to the NFL. But I feel like I can cover a little bit better than he can, so I can bring more versatility to the team, man, and just, you know what I'm saying, have fun. So you can turn it up to the next level, like give more versatility to that position. Yeah, yeah, definitely. How do you say the recruiting process was for you overall? Man, it was different. Like, that's what I'm saying, like, because this year, I, I was talking to a guy who only got three years of high school football, like, literally – I only got three, so it was different. Like, my senior year, I thought I'm going to come out here and ball out, you know what I'm saying, maybe maybe potentially get some more offers. But, I mean, I'm glad I'm glad I'm in the position I am now, though. Uh, luckily, it was a blessing in disguise. But uh, it was definitely different. I feel like I'm the only – we're the only class that can really say we didn't have a senior season. Like, for the guys that are leaving early, like, I've never seen that before. So, like, the fact you got to have offers, it all came from, like, junior and lower. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. What did you like most about Georgia Southern? Uh, I really want to say the atmosphere, but the crazy thing is I haven't got to experience that, like, literally. So, I, like I said, really the coaching staff, the coaching staff. So the coaching staff, like, with Coach Lunsford? Yeah. I heard he's a cool guy. Yeah, he is. He is. I can't wait to play, man. I can't. He's he's built a great program there, like, you know, being the Louisiana Tech in the bowl game, 38-3. to three. Right. 
Right. Yeah, that's big. Always has them going to bowl games. Mm. When are you getting to Georgia Southern? January 7th. I'll leave next week. Wow. So next yeah. week. Yeah. What made you decide to graduate early? Um, I have originally been trying to graduate early from, like, middle school. Like every class I ever took in life, I, it was literally for me to graduate early so I can go ahead and get acclimated into the program and get a head start on all the freshmen. So. So you've always wanted to graduate early since, like, middle school? Say it again. So you've always wanted to graduate early since middle school? Yeah, even before that, really. Oh, wow, that's great. So that's yeah. always been your goal. Right. Too bad you didn't get a season, though, before it. I know, man. That's crazy. Like senior night and everything. Mm hmm What part of your game did you most improve on over quarantine? Probably strength was. Yeah, because like I said, I was a, I'm was already a big speed run, like speed guy. So power was, that's that's probably what I worked on the most. So you got more strength for like power. Yeah, yeah. So you can combine that with power and speed. Yeah. What number do you plan on wearing at Georgia Southern? I don't even care for real, man. I'm just so excited <laughs> to play. I don't even, I really don't care. I mean, I wear number 17 at Huff. So I like that number, but whenever they throw me, man, I'm just ready to play, honestly. So you don't care? You're just ready to play for Georgia Southern? Yeah, right now. What's the best game you've had of your career so far? Hmm. Ah, that's a good question, because I had two – I had a game against Vance, the state champions. I had four sacks. And then I played, when we played Dudley, when I had played for Paige, that was my first game back from my injury. I caught a pick, and I had a, a whole bunch of tackles. But uh, I think those are two, my top two. So that Paige, when it's your first game back from an injury, you got an interception and a few tackles. Yeah, fun, cool. very fun. Then one was in the championship, you said? Nah, we played the state champions. If you if you know about Vance and North Carolina, they just won a state championship. We we uh we didn't get to play them again, but in the regular season, we had I had four sacks, and then the other D I had five sacks. So that's cool. So you got to do it against the team that won the state championship. Yeah, man. It's, unfortunately, we didn't get to make it like they did, but it is what it is. What's the biggest game you've ever played in? Probably the the game that I caught a pit was uh Page versus Dully. That's probably that's probably cause that's that was my favorite game, man. The atmosphere is crazy. It'd be sold out. Like I like I like playing the atmosphere. That's probably that was like game. one of those big rivalry games, like where it's always packed. Yeah, yeah. Who is your favorite football player as a kid? Well, I used to play. I used to play receivers, so I was a big Odell fan. So, Odell probably. And now as I got older, it started like Von Miller, Khalil Mack. So, you used to play receivers, so you like Odell? Yeah. High school, and then you got like to your position with Khalil Mack and Von Miller in high school? Yeah, yeah. How would you describe yourself off the field? Man, I be chilling, man. Honestly, like I'm with, I like hanging out with family and my friends. But I'm with my family right now. You know what I'm saying we, my friends pulling up. But you know what I'm saying I just be chilling, bro, having fun. Do you like to just chill and like hang out with your family, like right now? Yeah, in my free time. Yeah. What are three things you like to do besides football? Uh, hooping. Probably playing the game and rapping, cause I make music as well. But yeah, well, that's cool. So you make music as well, rapping. Yeah, that's cool. The last question 
I have is for fun. You get to take any three NFL players to dinner. They can be past or present. Who are you taking? Ooh, that's a good question. All right, like I said, Odell. I'm going to go Odell at one. Uh, past or present. Dang. Marshawn Lynch, because he's funny. I like him. And he's then nice. probably uh, Patrick Mahomes. Those are all good. You could, like, Odell, that'd be a fun one. Yeah. Yeah, man. And then Patrick Mahomes and Marshawn Lynch. Marshawn Lynch would be another fun one. Yeah, that man funny. All right, thanks for doing the interview with me today. Those are the questions I have. Appreciate you, man. Front, thank you. Have a good rest of your day. Uh, you too.